just being Muslim out in the streets, right, is now not only just a spiritual identity, but also a political act. It's an act of resistance and resilience. I definitely feel that whenever there's an attack anywhere as a Muslim, I always have to stand up and stand against it and say, oh, well, we're not ISIS. We just can't mourn um, the victims of these terrible tragedies. I and mean, we have to almost kind of go into this reactionary mode of like, oh my God, like, I, I hope the perpetrators weren't Muslim. We don't get a chance to be human uh, and, and kind of show human emotion. I really don't like the way that we're expected to be a political or neutral or comforting or palatable. The emotional toll and the physical toll and the psychological toll of constantly trying to, to explain myself and prove myself is, is not worth it to me. There's days where I don't want to leave the home and I push myself to because I refuse to live like that. People like Donald Trump have left uh, a lasting effect. He's kind of uh, made it okay to hate and, and that's my biggest fear. I'm not going to let fear dictate my faith at all. So I don't necessarily fear too much for myself, but my mother, she does cover, and I do fear for her. I'm scared for the immediate impacts of like hate crimes on our bodies, but then I'm also scared and worried about the kind of the more deep-seated impacts of what these of what this climate's doing to our sense of place and belonging. Sometimes I'll wear my hijab, my headscarf in a more traditional way and I definitely feel um, more visible as a Muslim woman when I do that. So I'll, I'll style my headscarf a different way um, just because I'm, I'm sort of tired of being um, hyper scrutinized. My five-year-old son is on when he unfortunately has to listen to the news once in a while and he hears the word Muslim, 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 Muslim. And he looks at me and he goes, Mommy, aren't we Muslim? And I say, yes, we are Muslim. He's like, well, what about those people? Are they bad guys? I, I can't even explain what that feels like as a mother. It's not my job to tackle Islamophobia in the sense that I should make people feel more comfortable. I'm not here to prove that I'm not a terrorist or that I'm not uh, violent. Or, or on the flip side, I'm not here to prove how Muslim I am. I feel all citizens that live in the United States hold the responsibility to attack Islamophobia. The United States of America, from its inception, has been based on race and one entity thinks that they're better than another entity. Remember, it's less than 60 years ago that uh, African Americans couldn't sit in the front of the bus. You have two choices. If you're given the choice between what you learn on the media versus somebody you know, I would much rather be that person to take some of those very ignorant questions at first. So I've been brought closer to my faith, and I also feel like I've been brought closer to standing up for injustice. My practice has been fortified. Uh, I haven't wavered at all. You know, I don't have a lot of faith that there's going to be uh, a shift in the narrative that one day Donald Trump is going to be like, you know what? My bad. Muslims aren't actually that terrible, and I'm sorry I've been saying all this awful shit about people. Uh, I do have hope, but I think hope is a little different than reality. There are more decent human beings on this planet than negative human beings. That's the hope that drives me.